stage one landing leg deploy. SpaceX is now grounded after this failed landing. The FAA is now investigating what caused this Falcon 9 booster to explode overnight. It was landing on a drone ship after a Starlink launch when it burst into flames. This is actually the second time in just the past month that the FAA has grounded SpaceX. And as Fox 35's Esther Bauer explains, this means the upcoming crewed missions could be delayed. SpaceX is grounded for the second time in just a matter of months by the FAA. A rocket booster trying to land back here off the coast of Cape Canaveral ended in a fiery explosion. Now upcoming crewed missions could be in jeopardy. A fiery fallout for SpaceX when a Falcon 9 booster bursts into flames and falls over while landing on a barge. And was destroyed. Destruction isn't common for the space giant. SpaceX had successfully used this booster 23 times and had done nearly 260 booster recoveries since 2021. Maybe we can say it's just an unfortunate incident, but uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, when you have people that are working on so many missions at once, uh, then you can have uh, uh, checklists and things that maybe are not completely. Uh, uh, completed as they should be. SpaceX is swamped with missions right now. Just overnight, they were trying to launch a historic crewed mission and two Starlink missions in a matter of hours. The Polaris Dawn mission was canceled because of weather safety concerns, and the second Starlink launch never happened because of the explosion. It's Does three that launches. feel like too much to do in one night? To me, it's too much to do, especially when you have a human launch. Human launches are now in limbo. It, it, it may delay things a little bit. The FAA grounding the private Polaris mission and NASA's Crew-9 launch could all be pushed back. Both use SpaceX rockets to lift off. Right now, no new launch date has been set for the Polaris Dawn. Crew-9 is set to lift off next month. Maybe. The FAA says a return to flight of the Falcon 9 booster rocket is based on the FAA determining that any system, process, or procedure related to the anomaly does not affect public safety. So I think. NASA relies too much on SpaceX. Setbacks for SpaceX impact the entire industry because no one is launching as much as they do. Experts say more diversity in launch providers is needed now more than ever. If one goes down and has an issue, and the other one will still be good. And this booster explosion comes at a time when SpaceX is trying to figure out how often they can reuse rocket boosters. Experts tell me the company is trying to get that number up to 40, but this booster failed on its 23rd try. Reporting in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.